One of the biggest questions, most often asked questions that we get about books is how do I market my book? What's the best marketing plan for my book? The number one most important thing is always going to be consistency. The second most important thing is know your audience. You want to start marketing your book way before your book is even completed. You want to know who are you writing your book for. You want to be sure you talk their language and then just keep rinsing and repeating. Just keep repeating consistency. Talk to your audience, talk their language. But then how do you get that message out there? One of the most amazing marketing campaigns that I saw an author do on a shoestring budget was what she called her BYABR, was her acronym, BYABR, but yet another book report. So she was very active on LinkedIn and Facebook. And once a week, and sometimes twice a week, she would go out there, start her post with BYABR, and let people know that this is just, but yet another book report. And if you're tired of hearing about my book and where I am with writing my book, just skip this post. And then she would go in to a little update on what was happening that week. Maybe she met with her editor, so she would talk about what they did, how they moved things around, how they rewrote a certain chapter, or maybe they met with, she got to meet with her cover designer. So they would talk about how they're trying to figure out which photos she wanted to use on the cover and really what, what to narrow down what the title of the book is gonna be and, and is it gonna fit. Maybe we need to edit that subtitle because you really don't need it to be 30 words long. Those types of things from a designer. The other thing that she did was create videos. Now this was back when videos were just starting and so this was new to her. She had never used the video on her phone. So her college daughters had to teach her how to do that. But having a video with your book as you're marketing it and talking about your book, even if you don't quite yet have the book that you can hold up and show people what it looks like, they're getting to know you. And it's a major important part of that know, like, and trust factor. As they learn to know, know you, then they start to like you, and then they learn to trust you and they think, well, maybe I really could read this book. This might be something that I need. So you wanna remember as you're marketing your book, again, consistency. On her part, it was the same day every week, a similar message every week. She spoke her audience's language and she just repeated that throughout the entire time, even before her book was written. Now, once it was written, that's when she started talking about save the date. Save the date is the date you wanna launch. You wanna start sharing that. And whether your launch is just a, a simple little, today's the day, my book is ready, it's available on Amazon message, that's awesome too. Or whether you go with a full blown Amazon bestseller campaign depends on your budget. So you can be on the DIY budget. If you have a larger budget, perhaps you could do the Amazon bestseller campaign. We've done over 80, almost close to 100 of those over the past probably 10 years. And every one of the ones that we've been involved with has come in at least an international Amazon bestseller and more than likely a number one international bestseller. So it depends on your budget, it depends on your audience, depends on your content. What kind of book are you writing? What kind of book is going to work well with a quiet launch? Or if you're doing a memoir, perhaps it's maybe only your family and friends. If you're doing a major campaign with perhaps a business book that would attract a larger audience, then you may wanna think about an Amazon bestseller campaign. I'm Kathy Davis, Davis Creative Publishing. We are ghost publishers of solo books and anthologies. We do all the work and you get all the accolades. <laughs>